Today, I'm gonna to show you the fastest way to dodge and burn in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on the all new redesign flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is all about dodging and burning. And you might be saying, why would I even want to dodge and burn an image? Well, it's a really cool technique. It dates back to the days of using film. Basically, the idea is anywhere you see a highlight, you want to make that a little lighter, or a shadow, you want to make that a little bit darker. And what it does is it helps actually carve out form and show structure in an image a little bit better. So if something's not that interesting or something's looking a little bit flat, dodging and burning can really help to give it a lot more depth and shape. And in this episode, we're going to show you how to do that extremely quickly. So let's get into our episode. I went ahead and took a picture of my back and then photoshopped a different guy's head on there just so it wouldn't be super awkward for this tutorial. And uh, we're gonna show how to basically make all these muscles and things like this stand out. And this is perfect for dodging and burning because this it's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna carve out and you wanna add definition to an image. So a sports portrait, something like this with rim lighting, you know, anytime you wanna add that definition, dodging and burning is gonna be perfect for you. So our really quick tip, basically I'm just gonna duplicate a background layer. So we're gonna hit Control or Command J on that background layer so we now have a copy of that. Now I'm gonna go hit Shift Command U and that's gonna desaturate this layer. Now we're gonna do something that's a lot like sharpening except we're just gonna take it a little bit further. So after I've desaturated this because we're gonna wind up using a high pass filter and I don't wanna alter my color too much. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our layer blend mode. We're gonna go from normal, I'm gonna go down here to vivid light. So it's gonna look horrible at this point. I totally know that. Now our next step is to add a high pass filter. So again, it's a lot like sharpening. If I go to filter, down here to other, and over here to high pass, all right, we're gonna see at a really low radius here, this is a technique that you would actually use to sharpen. Let me just bring this radius up just a little bit and we can see, let's just zoom in here so you can see, if you're interested in sharpening, this is exactly what you would wanna do for sharpening. Like you can see the difference between zero, how that's not very sharp, and then right here at about like seven, that adds a lot of sharpening. So how do we go from sharpening to dodging and burning? Basically all we have to do is increase our radius right here up just about as far as it's gonna go. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna kinda carve out our highlights and shadows in a new way. Instead of focusing on small little details, it's gonna focus on details a little bit more broad. So in this case, right about 170 looks pretty good. So let's hit okay, and we're just gonna turn this off and on. Now, by default, this is gonna be way too much, right? You definitely don't need that much definition here. So we're just gonna take our opacity and we're gonna bring that down a little bit lower. All right, now to get this basically applied where you want it, just put a layer mask. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, click on our layer mask button, and now we're just gonna paint white right over top of our subject. There we go. And this is a very, very quick dodge and burn. We'll go over here, we'll even go over the weight. We'll make that look very fancy. All right, and because we had a radius that was so large, it's not gonna necessarily pick out all the little details in the subject and sharpen those. It's just mainly focusing on the larger um, details in the image, like in this case, what we have for the muscles. Now, if you don't want this effect to be so strong, just change your blending mode. Right now, I've got it to vivid light. If you set this to something like soft light, you can see it's a lot more subtle. And in this case, what I would recommend doing, if you have it set to soft light, Try just duplicating this a couple times and that'll help you add a little bit more dodging and burning. So to duplicate it, I'm just gonna hit Command J a couple of times. There we go, three times, that's the trick. And then each of these is soft light or you can do a combination, whatever you want. Sometimes what I'll do is if I want, you know, let's say that I wanna, you know, dodge and burn someone's face, but I wanna take care of their body more. So the, like these three layers, I wouldn't want it to be visible where the face was. You can group those together and then you can put a layer mask on the group and just paint black right over that area. So in this case, I'm not dodging and burning his face. You can see there's the before and the after. His face stays just about normal, but his body gets the treatment. All right, let's go ahead and group those and we can show you the before and the after. Here's our before and our after. Didn't I promise you a super fast way of dodging and burning? That's it. Just create a duplicate of your background layer desaturate that and then run a high pass filter and crank your radius all the way up to the right, just about as far as it can go, and then set that layer to either overlay or soft light or linear light, and that's gonna work perfectly as a dodge and burn. 
Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. I hope this episode helped out fasten, fasten is not a word, quicken your process of dodging and burning. If you like what we're doing here at Flurn, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can receive free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode, or if you have a comment about today's episode, a question or a new technique for dodging and burning, leave it in a comment right down below here on YouTube or on Flurn.com. We'd love to hear from you. From you. From you. <laughs> As always, thanks again, and I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.